So Jesus, we come. We come to you now. We come to you, Christ. We begin by giving ourselves back to you, Jesus. As Paul says, we have been bought with a price. We are not our own. We have been purchased with the blood of Christ. And therefore, we surrender ourselves back to you. We consecrate our lives to you, Jesus. We give you our sexuality. We give you that masculine core within us. We give you our loins, Jesus. We give you our strength and our weakness. We give you our body, our heart in all of its brokenness, our mind, our spirit. We give ourselves to you, Christ our will, our intellect. We surrender ourselves to you completely, Jesus. And we declare your authority over our lives. There is no one else who has a legitimate claim to us other than you. Jesus, you are our ransom. You are our sovereign. And we give ourselves to you completely and unreservedly that we might be healed, cleansed, delivered, and restored. Jesus, I ask for your healing presence to come and fill this room and to surround every man, to surround him, Lord, his spirit and his mind, to silence every other voice For we command it in the name of Jesus that only Christ may speak. Jesus, that you would come. The scriptures say that it is God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has made his light to shine in our hearts. We ask you to come and shine your light in our hearts. Come into these deep places, Jesus. (laughs) places of bondage, the places of captivity. Come into our brokenness and our cynicism and our resignation. Come into our addictions and our compulsion and our fear. Come to these places that feel so young in us, Christ. We give ourselves to you fully, Jesus, and we bring your work over our lives. And we want to ask your forgiveness for the ways that we have misused our sexuality. Jesus, you created it. You ordained it to be something of great glory and rich sensuality without shame. And there are few of us that know that. Jesus, would you come here to the regions of our sexuality and would you forgive us? Christ, for the way that we have misused our sexuality. We renounce it. Every act, every word, every look, every turn, every relationship. And bring our sexuality under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, under his redemption and his claim, and under his promise to heal and deliver And we just allow you to bring to us right now, to bring to our minds the things that we need to confess, Christ. We invite you to come, Jesus. We invite you to come. What is it that you are asking us to yield, to confess, to renounce? And as he brings those things to mind, you just lay them before him. Confess them, renounce them relationships, the abuse of your sexuality, fear, withdrawal. Jesus, search us and show us the places where the deep agreements were made. That that is the place of love, that that is the place of validation, that that will be our comfort. Show us where those agreements were made, Christ. For we would renounce them, break them, and yield our brokenness back to you. 
Jesus, forgive us for the misuse of our sexuality. And Jesus, we ask for your blood to come now and to cleanse us of our sins, but also to cleanse us of sins that were done against us. That you would cleanse us, Jesus. Cleanse us with your blood in these very places, the memories, the emotions and desires. Cleanse us in the place of our sexual arousal. Cleanse us, Jesus, in our imaginations, in our eyes, in our ears. Lord Jesus, cleanse us, our hands, our bodies. Cleanse us with your blood, Christ. We return ourselves to you. And we renounce every way that we have misused our sexuality. That we have not rescued the beauty. We have not given our strength to her. Not in a true way. Jesus, forgive us. And Jesus, we ask you to come. Come to the the broken places within us. Come to the young and not so young places that are broken within us and speak to us, Christ. Jesus, what are you saying to our hearts? What are you speaking to these places within us? Yes. Christ is saying, I have forgiven you. I have. I forgive you. Will you let me heal you? Will you let me restore your sexuality? Would you let me restore your brokenness? Let me come to these young places within you. Let me heal and restore you. You don't need to stay there anymore. We ask you to destroy our captors, Jesus. We ask you to take your sword out against the enemy in the way that he has turned wounds and agreements into places of bondage Mm -hmm. and captivity. Break the chains, Jesus. Cut them off. Lord Jesus, break the bondage and open the cell doors. Open them, Christ. Come for the man who is buried, just buried by the enemy and held captive. Come to him, Jesus. Come to the young places in us feeling ashamed, frightened, and destroy our enemies, destroy the work of the enemy. We renounce every way that we have given him a claim in our life. Jesus, forgive us for making agreements with him. Forgive us for the agreements of the sensuality and seduction, the comfort and false love. Jesus, forgive us for making agreements with the shame and the fear and regret and remorse and a lack of forgiveness toward ourselves. We're saying things like, I could never forgive myself for that. We renounce those agreements. We renounce every way that we have aligned ourselves or our sexuality, our masculine strength with the lies of the enemy and given him claim, access to us. We ask you to destroy our captors, Jesus, that you would destroy them, break the hold, that you would heal the brokenhearted and set the captive free. Bring us out, Jesus. Bring our sexuality out of darkness and into the fields of freedom and light, cleansing, righteousness that you give to us that you would restore us as men. Lord Jesus, come. Come for us, Christ. 
in our cynicism and resignation and in our unbelief. Forgive us, Christ. We just ask you to come. That you would heal us, Christ. That you would restore our own hearts to us. The broken and shattered places. That you'd collect them together into your arms. Gather the young places into your arms and gather the older places. Gather them to you, Jesus. And heal us, Christ. Bring the brokenness back in. And place pinned down, Jesus. We welcome your healing, Christ. We give you utter and total claim to us. We welcome our sexuality back as something holy and good. That it can be restored and that it can be free. Oh, cleanse us and restore us, Christ. Heal us, Jesus. In the sense that Christ is offering to many places within many of us his hand, he's asking us to walk with him. Come with me. Come with me. I'm taking you out of bondage. I want to restore you. I want to heal you. I'm forgiven you. I have a robe for you of righteousness. You do not need to be ashamed of what you are. I am restoring you. Let me heal you. Give me your permission. Give me your hand and come with me. Come with me now. We pray that your cleansing, healing light would fill our hearts, Christ. That 2 Corinthians 4 light, the light of God in the face of Christ, would shine in our hearts and bring healing and restoration, Jesus. We give ourselves back to you in every way. Mend our sexuality. Mend our strength. Mend the essence within us. And Jesus, we ask you to imbue us now, to endow us with your masculine strength. Restore the essence. Restore the deep, the deep places within us. The masculine core. Help us to straighten up, Jesus, and look at you turn our eyes to you and fill us with your strength, Christ. Restore the essence of our masculinity, Jesus. Fill us with your grace, with your life, Jesus, and with your strength. We welcome you. We welcome you into the shattered places of our hearts, into our sexuality and into our darkness. We welcome you in, Jesus, to restore us. I sense Jesus saying to some men here, tell them this is true. Tell them this is true and that I do come, that I will heal if you will let me. I need your permission. Let go of your cynicism and your unbelief. Let go of your guilt as a kind of comforter and your sense of shame as a kind of friend. They are not your friends. And listen to me. I have created you to be a man. And you are my man. Jesus, bring your deep validation to our hearts. Speak to those core places, Lord. What do you think of us as men? Let 
receive my validation. I love you and I respect you and I am restoring you as a man. Look. Look what I have done. And Jesus, you have our permission to keep coming and to keep working here as long as you need to work into every place you need to reach, Christ, and to restore us in a wholeness and in a holiness to cleanse and to deliver and to heal. In your name. Amen. Amen. See, what I wanted to do, <laughs> what I wanted to do was talk about pursuing Eve. But Jesus said, you can't even go there until we first deal with this. Okay? If you just listened to the prayer that we were praying together in this session, kind of taking in the content, what I want you to do now is pause Go back and pray through this prayer with me. Really pray it, following along, agreeing, uh, renouncing things, inviting the healing of Christ. This one prayer, this one exercise right here has done more to heal men and their sexuality and free them, genuinely free them than anything else we've ever done here at Ransomed Heart. So take your time, pass through this prayer again, Think about praying through this several times over the course of the next couple of months. We have found here on the team at Ransomed Heart that as we've been able to pray through it again and then again, God will bring up new things, sometimes a different memory, sometimes a different issue for a deeper and a more sustained healing and freedom and restoration.